everybody, and welcome back to Solo Dev. Before we dive into the combat core component, let's take a step back. If you're new to Gameplay Ability System, or GAS for short, this episode will give you the foundation you need. We'll talk about what GAS is, the key pieces like abilities, effects, and cues, and then show how I've set it up in my project using the custom ability system component, an attribute set, and our character base class. GAS is Unreal Engine's gameplay ability system. It's a powerful framework for building abilities, handling replication, and managing state across single and multiplayer games. Abilities. Think of them as actions a character can take, like attacks, dodges, or healing spells. They're triggered by input and controlled through GAS. Gameplay effects. These apply changes to attributes like dealing damage, regenerating stamina, or applying buffs and debuffs. Gameplay cues. These are purely visual or audio indicators like showing sparks when a hit lands attributes. These are the numbers behind your character, health, stamina, attack power, defense, and so on. Gameplay tags. The glue that holds it together. Tags let you describe states and conditions like is attacking or stunned in a simple data-driven way. At the core of GAS is the ability system component. This is a manager for all abilities and effects. In my project, I've created a custom one, PGAS ability system component. Why? Because sometimes you need extra logic, like tracking the last activated ability or handling custom events when ability starts or ends. By subclassing, I get full control while still keeping the gas backbone. Next, we need to represent our character stats. Gas does this through attribute sets. Here's my player character attribute set. It includes attributes like health, stamina, adrenaline, experience points, attack power, and defense. Each attribute is replicated automatically by GAS, which means in multiplayer, both the client and server always stay in sync. But there's more going on under the hood here. Let's break down some of the important functions inside the attribute set. Get lifetime replicated props. This is Unreal's way of telling the engine which variables should replicate over the network. In our attribute set, it makes sure things like health, stamina, and attack power stay consistent between the server and client. Without this, you would see these syncs in multiplayer, like your health bar showing something different than the server knows. Pre-attribute change. This function runs just before an attribute is changed. It's a great place to enforce rules. For example, if your max health is lowered, you might want to clamp your current health so it doesn't stay higher than the new max health. Post-game play effect execute. This runs after a gameplay effect modifies an attribute. Think of it as your reaction point. For example, if a damage effect lowers health, this is where you can trigger logic like play a hit reaction, updating the UI, or even checking if a character should die. Adjust attribute for max change. This helper function makes sure attributes tied to a max value scale property. A common example is health and max health. If you increase max health from 100 to 200, adjust attribute for max change can increase current health proportionally so it stays in the same percentage range. Unrep functions. Each attribute has an unrep function like unrep underscore health or unrep underscore stamina. These only run on clients when the server updates the attribute. They're perfect for triggering client-side responses like refreshing the help bar UI or playing a stamina draining animation. It's one of the key ways GAS stays multiplayer ready out of the box. So the attribute set isn't just a bag of numbers. It's the brain that ensures our stats replicate correctly, stay within valid ranges, and trigger reactions both on the server and client. This is what gives GAS its reputation for being powerful in multiplayer scenarios. Now we tie everything together in our character base class. Every character in my project, whether player or AI, inherits from this base. 
This is where we centralize our gas setup so that every character is ready to use abilities, attributes, and gameplay tags right out the box. Inside the constructor, we create our custom ability system component and mark it as replicated so it works in multiplayer. We also set up our hit reaction component, but we'll get into that in a later video. Then when the gameplay begins, we apply starting gameplay tags and grant default attribute effects like health, stamina, and defense. We also assign default abilities. For example, sprint, block, or bow attack. This makes sure every character spawns with core tools they need. But beyond the setup, this class also includes some really useful helper functions. Has gameplay tag and has any gameplay tag. These make it easy to check whether a character is in a certain state. For example, you could check if a character is currently stunned, blocking, or attacking. Has gameplay tag checks for a single tag while has any gameplay tag checks against a whole group. This gives us really clean conditional logic in the gameplay that's built into any character. Activate abilities with tags. This is one of my favorites. Instead of hard coding ability activation, we can just say activate anything that has this tag combat.attack and gas will take care of the rest. It's flexible, data driven, and it means we can swap abilities in and out without changing code. Cancel abilities with tags, the opposite of the activation. Maybe the character gets stunned or the player lets go of the button mid charge. With this function, we can clearly cancel abilities that match certain tags, preventing weird gameplay bugs. So the character base doesn't just initialize gas. It also exposes simple reusable helpers for working with gameplay tags and abilities. This keeps our code organized, our blueprints cleaner, and our combat system far easier to expand. With this foundation, we can now layer on the combat specific components, starting with the combat core component in the next video. To recap, GAS gives us a modular, scalable way to handle abilities and attributes. A custom ability system component lets us extend behavior. The attribute set holds our stats fully replicated. And by centralizing setup in our character base, every character we build is automatically GAS enabled. This is the foundation for our entire combat system we'll be exploring in the next episodes. In the next video, We'll jump into the combat core component, the backbone of our attack system. If you found this helpful, give it a like, subscribe for more Unreal Engine tutorials, and check the GitHub link in the description to follow along. Thanks.